Hi, welcome to the Ware Humphrey Library's Children and Young Adult Book Talk. Uh, this week I'm going to focus in on a children's book and I'm going to focus in a, on a biography of Dr. Seuss. And it's part of the series, the Who Was, Who Is series. And my book is called Who Was Dr. Seuss? Now these books are written at a solid third grade level. And in third grade in Wareham, the children do a big biography project. And a lot of children choose this book, Who Was Dr. Seuss? And it's a great biography for children to use. Um, first of all, who was Dr. Seuss? That was not his real name. His real name is Theodore Seuss Geisel. Geisel was his last name. And everybody called him by a nickname, Ted. He was always Ted. And he was born right here in the state in Springfield, Massachusetts in 1904. And it talks a lot about his younger years because that really appeals to children. And it talks about his dad when he was a little boy going to school, school age, elementary, his dad had a job in the zoo in Springfield. It's called the Forest Park Zoo. And so every day after school, Ted used to walk from school or maybe first to his house then down to the zoo to see his dad and he would look at all of the animals and Ted liked to read, he liked to write, but his very first love, he loved to draw. He doodled and drew everything. And his main thing, he loved to draw the animals in the zoo. And at first he drew them more realistically and then he drew them sillier and sillier. After graduating high school, Ted went on to go to a pretty important college. It's called an Ivy League college. It's Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. And there he studied English. He was editor of the school newspaper and he used to draw cartoons in his school newspaper. And that was his first thing with the cartoons and funny jokes. And after he graduated from Dartmouth, he thought he needed more education. He went to England, to Oxford College, and did more studies. He met his first wife over there. They came back to the United States and he started writing for adult magazines that he always thought he'd write for adults, but he loved to draw and he did cartooning. But one day a friend said to him, why not do a kid's book? His first book was, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. And he went on and on to write all the books he wrote and this biography describes it. It's good for kids because just about every page you have an illustration that highlights it. It goes through his life and what's important to help the children doing re reports is the very end of the book they have, it's called a chronology or timeline of Dr. Seuss's life. And it says here, 1904, Theodore Seuss Geisel, born on March 2nd, and then it goes to 1991, Dr. Seuss dies on September 24th. And then you see another timeline on the other side. This describes what's happening in the world while he's alive. It's a really interesting book. They write in a very uh, conversational way that kids like to hear, and they put in information that kids like, like that zoo story I told you I learned from this. Another thing I want to talk about, these books are a part of a series. As you can see, I have three baskets full of these books. I keep them alphabetical. So I start with who was Abigail Adams, and this basket goes to Leif Erickson, so someone who is no longer living, who was Henry Ford, the inventor of the first motorized car, to who is Dolly Parton, and we have the Dolly Parton Imagination Library here in the library. And then we go to a president who was Ronald Reagan, and we end up the last one in the series, who is Malala Yousafzai. And they're all interesting, they're all that solid third grade level. I hope your children, if they want to read real, true stories, will try these biographies. Like I said, 
the good from uh, grades two to four, and they're fun, fun reading. Thank you for listening. Happy Dr. Seuss's birthday.